All right, one last one on segment addition postulate. This uh, we're, time we're going to talk about midpoint. Uh, when we talk about midpoint, what we mean is the point in which we break the uh, segment in half or the point in which if I had gone to that, that distance, if I go that distance again, I can get to the other side. So in this case, if I go two blocks, I can get to this white one here. And to get to the other end of the segment, I would have to go two more. So really, this side and this side are the same, same amount. So I can say that the white one is the, mid, uh, is the midpoint. That's important. This is the type of problem you might see with that. It might say, if z is the midpoint of RT, what are x, rz, and rt? Now, before we talked about, if you saw the segment addition postulate anyway, otherwise you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, if uh, The most important thing that you can do is make a statement about the picture. Now, in this case, it's important to do two statements about the picture. The first is the same one we did in segment addition postulate, which is rt is equal to rz plus zt. What you might also uh, have to say in this case, because we have the word midpoint, is that I'm going to make a statement about RZ and set that equal to the other uh, segment, which is ZT. We're going to fill in as much information as we can here and see if one of the two can get somewhere where we can find an answer. Sometimes you actually have to use both, which may be the case here. Now, if I know that RZ is 9x minus 15, which is why it's written right there, I need to mark every time I see RZ, I need to have 9x minus 15 under it. Similarly, if I have ZT is equal to 102, I need to set each problem up so that it's equal to 102. Now, in the first one, I still don't know what RT is, but I might know it in a minute. But this one, I have enough information to go ahead and solve. I'm just going to solve it as an equation. I'm going to add 15 to both sides. 9x equals 117. Add 15 to both sides. Uh, now I need to get rid of times 9, so I'm going to divide. So x is equal to... 13, which solves one of the question or answers one of the questions above. It asks what x is. Well, x is equal to 13. It also wants to know what rz is. Well, rz is 9x minus 15, so I might need to write 9x minus 15. Then I'll rewrite that statement with a parentheses around the x. In that parentheses, I'm going to plug in the value for x, so 13. So I do 9 times 13 and minus 15 and get 102. By the way, you should be able to, to have figured that out anyway because it told you that ZT is equal to um, RZ and it told you that ZT is 102. So it just matches up. I'm just showing you the basic idea of... I'm trying not to cheat you out of any math, I guess. But if ZT is 102, well, RZ is as well. You could have figured that out beforehand. Now, it's nice or it's very simple to know that if this is 102 and this is 102, if I just add those two things together, which gives me, of course, 204, that should be the value of RT. But we can prove it by plugging this 13 back into the equation, if I so desire. And I get 9 times 13 being 117, minus 15, plus 102, I find out that RT's final value is, of course, 204, just like I said it would be. Now, those are all your answers, and if you wrote it out like this and circled their values and their, their names at the same time, or went back up and wrote it under each one, should be easy to get the right answer if you're doing multiple choice. The thing about multiple choice is they like to mix it up, so you'll probably have an answer that has X is 13, RZ is 102, and RT is 204. You're also very likely to have one that looks like X is equal to 13, RZ is equal to 204, and RT is equal to 102, or some variance of this. Now, 
it has all the right numbers, but they're just not matched to the right segment. So make sure that the answers that you get match what the answer choices have if you're doing a multiple choice problem. Otherwise, you'll get it wrong, even though you did all the math right. It's really super annoying to work tons of math and then get the wrong answer because you picked the wrong choice. So make sure you don't uh, do something sort of ridiculous and pick an answer that doesn't match what you did all your hard work to figure out. One more type. This is very similar. If t is equal, if t is the midpoint of SU, what are ST, TU, and SU? Once again, I'm going to make a statement about SU being equal to ST plus TU. And since it's a midpoint question, I'm also going to make a statement about ST being equal to TU. And I'm going to plug in all the information that I can, 4x plus 2x plus 18. Now I can't solve for SU yet. Well, I could in terms of, I could find out if it's, uh, I could combine like terms and say that it's 6x plus 18. But that's all I know about SU right now. It's possible that you'll get asked this question, but that's not what they're asking here. On the other side, 4x is equal to 2x plus 18. Subtract 2x from both sides. And by the way, if you forgot how to do this, uh, in the algebra section of the YouTube site, there uh, should be some uh, videos on how to solve equations with variables on both sides. Go there and check it out. It's pretty simple. Uh, divide by 2. So x is equal to 9. You might see 9 in one of your answer choices if you're doing multiple choice, but that is not the answer to the question. None of these things request what x is. They want to know what st is, a tu and SU. So what I'm going to do is write ST is equal to 4X. It's equal to 4 with parentheses around it and I'm going to plug in the value of X. So ST should be 36. TU, which by the way should also be 36 if it's a true midpoint because this should equal this, right? So we're going to test and see if that's true. 2X plus 18 equals 2 times 9 plus 18 which is 18 plus 18, which does give you 36. And your SU is 6x plus 18. Six times nine is 54, plus 18 gives you 72. And it should, because 36 plus 36 equals 72. You might wanna go over here and write this kind of stuff down, depending on if you're likely to make careless mistakes. That way you can go back and match exactly in case you have multiple choice. Uh, if you give open response questions, then this is a non-issue. It's very simple. But basically you just say that the distance from here to here is the same as here to here. Make a statement about it. Make sure that you have this all marked up so if there are answer choices, you can match it. And then you've done enough work to completely uh, be successful at the idea of segment addition postulate when I'm considering the midpoint.